Guten Tag, mein Sme, wie geht's denn? Dieter, ich bin Dieter. Ja, yeah, Dieter ist going to be a little longer detailed vid on uh, doing art stuff. Because some people ask questions. I think two or three of my uh, loyal subscribers, it's just a lozenge, uh, asked me about some stuff. So I want to show you um, and talk a bit about art and what I do, in case anyone's interested. So this stuff is Arsh's French watercolor paper. It's the best stuff to work with. A sheet this size costs about 12 bucks. And this is the size I do a lot of my stuff in. And uh, just because I'm a little more prepared today, although I still don't rehearse anything really, but my handy meter stick or yard stick. So the size that I prefer to do usually, or it, not prefer, but a lot of my stuff is this size. 22 by 30 fifteen. Right? So there that there that goes over there. And uh, this it is this is about the smallest I like to do. And this is like nine and a half by twelve. I did that in nineteen ninety five. This one is uh, 15 by 22. Uh, what I'm showing you is, is originals. Now this isn't an original. This is the quality of my prints, which are excellent. Now I, I, I get it. This is actually really heavy archival paper. And this stuff is even more expensive than the watercolor paper. This is beautiful stuff. And a sheet this size costs about 20 bucks. So for me to do a print this size, my, my actual cost is if I have to capture the image, that costs me 75 bucks. That's my cost plus tax. And then the paper is usually 40. So I don't even make any money until I charge over 150 bucks. And uh, that's why art is expensive is, if you want stuff to last, this won't yellow. A hundred years, it'll still be white like this. So this is a print. And you can see how good it is. I could fool most people into thinking this is an original. My mom has the original because uh, there was a she saw Snowy Owl. I think the week my dad died four years ago or something like that. But anyway, it's a nice print. I have two of these. And when you have ripples in watercolor, what you do is you take a nice flat surface and you make make it damp, and then you lay plexiglass over it. It has to be very flat and clean because you don't want anything to bleed. And you don't go right to the edge. And then you lay a, a plexiglass sheet over it and heavy books to distribute it. And after about 14 to 24 hours, you have a perfectly flat painting that's suitable for framing like this. So, of course, like I let my mom keep the original. She's my mom after all. And this with the back, with the uh, border is 19 and a half by... 15 and a half. But if I was to uh, sell this to somebody, like uh, for me to make any, any money at all, I'd probably, I'd have to charge about uh, 200 bucks for something this size, for a print. Just so you know, if you're, any of you are in curious. There's another original. Now, That's an, an original. Yeah, I, I made two prints. I like to have two prints of everything. Two prints of the owl because I like to have one for myself. If I sell the original, uh, I like to have two because I need one for myself and one for art shows. This is a print again, very nice print. Turned out really well. The original of my horse on acid, which I like every more every time I see it. Glad I didn't decide to chuck it. 
Uh, I like doing this size too. This is uh, from 1996. I did this, well, uh, before 28 years ago, my friends. And this is one of the paintings I did to get me into art school. It's part of my portfolio. It is 22 by 30. So that's a, a nice size I like to do. I've sold prints of this. This is the original. She's not for sale. There's sentimental, another type of value with her. And this is a, a print. So I will sell these. This is a print of Emma. Now, this, just this paper, the, just this paper cost me uh, $75 plus tax, 90 bucks. And it cost me, I think, $15 to print the image. So my cost is like 125 with tax. So something this size, if you wanted a print of anything I do, would I'd charge you about 250 bucks. But you have something that will fool all, even some artists into thinking it's an original. That's how good it is. And this isn't, you know, run-of-the-mill printing you get done at a Staples. No offense. It's another one I did in 96. And she is... This again was for my portfolio that got me into art school. 22 by 30. And then uh, this lab, my buddy here, is 22 by 30 as well. And this one is 22 by 30. I don't know where it is right now. I seem to have misplaced it, but I have another one. Uh, it's half the size, front and back, of a, another semi-nude girl a girl that got me into art school and that i seem to have temporarily misplaced but i think you get a general idea so that's where i stand on this these these most people don't understand how expensive uh, good materials are or the time involved like you have to plan out a painting and stuff so it's an insult to someone like me who actually is talented i like my own work i've i've seen Artists charge three to ten times more what I do, and their shit isn't as good as mine. So, it is what it is, you know. It is what it is, but uh, I don't know. To me, it's an insult if, if I, I spend two days on something, and my cost is 200 bucks, and then people want to give me $150 for it. I go, what, you want me to lose money? <laughs> you know? You want to slap a beer or a coffee, uh, slap a beer on a table or, or, or pour a cup, cup of coffee someone and you want $30 an hour. If I charge by the hour, if I just charged like minimum wage in some places, which is 20 bucks an hour, with all the planning and the stuff I do, minimum I should charge for, uh, for a painting would be, should be 800 bucks, right? Two days, 10 hours a day. All right. Just saying. Happy plucking, Peter saying. This is why artists, art, artists are either successful because they're connected or 99, 95% of them starve because no one wants to pay them for their work. Peter saying. <laughs>